everyone. Welcome back to Card Voyant. I'm Chris and I'm your Card Voyant and I really am. <laughs> I've been gone for a little while and that's because I was on vacation and as you can see I made a few changes uh, but I had a really good time and that's why I'm able to bring you these videos. Um, while I was there uh, on vacation visiting my sister she had um, the idea to have a few friends in for kind of a tarot party and then I also had a chance to read some other people while I was, while I was there as well. Um, and the people were nice enough to let me film and record. So this first video is of um, my sister's friend Kathy. We had never met before but she was willing to have a tarot reading and have it recorded. So I just thought that this might give you an idea of what a tarot reading looks like for me, from me. Um, and also she had never had anything like this before. And so during part of it, I kind of explained the things that are happening. So I thought maybe it would be interesting. Um, this is very unusual in that I almost never read in front of more than one person. It, you know, tarot readings are interesting in that people will ask certain questions. Usually that's how I work. Um, and the, or they'll have concerns that they want to talk about. And sometimes they're, they're not, I wouldn't say they're lighthearted, but you know, they're not this deeply, deeply serious um, concerns. But you never know what's going to come up in a tarot reading. And they are very personal. And so I really sort of discourage people having somebody else there, although sometimes people will request it. They want somebody else there. Um, in this case, we had about five people there. And I have edited out some of the things that, that did come up. Um, but mostly, you know, there's, there's quite a bit here still. Um, it was difficult. It's very difficult to read when there's a group of people. They often, you know, they're, they're interacting with each other, especially as I'm shuffling and trying to concentrate, which is normal, but it's very hard. It's very hard to try and concentrate when there's a group of people. Um, I feel like everything went okay with this. It may have been a little bit different if I had read Kathy completely alone, but I think she did get some of the answers she was looking for. Things came through quite quite clearly um, in answer to her questions. So it, it ended up being a very good experience and I think it was comforting for them since they hadn't had uh, tarot experiences before to sort of have somebody there. People, and you'll find this if you start reading or if you are reading, I'm sure you know it, people are often afraid um, the first time they've had tarot readings and I, I'm not exactly sure why, but um, but that is often the case. So, you know, having people there kind of helped alleviate their fears. I will say that I have um, done tarot parties in the past, but they don't work this way. This was a unique group of friends who um, have been friends since like middle school. So they, you know, they were very comfortable around each other. But generally in a tarot party, um, what will happen is there's a party going on, <laughs> um, just a group of friends casually, and then whoever wants a reading will, um, I usually have a sign up sheet and they'll just come back one by one to wherever I am, but it's always a separate room so that their reading is private. And they're very short readings, usually only 20 minutes, which is a little bit difficult to do as well. But, um, you know, it's a nice taste for people to have of tarot and how it works. So it's kind of fun. Those are always kind of fun. This is different in that the readings were longer. We were there for a really long time this night. Um, the reading that you will see was actually about twice as long as you will see here. Um, and that includes my excessive shuffling. But I hope that you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll enjoy some of the other things that I have coming up because on this trip, as I said, I was able to do more, you know, several readings of people who allowed me to record them. So I have an, uh, another general reading that I may post. I have a couple past life readings that I may post, um, hopefully. And then I also have um, something kind of unusual that I'll talk about a little bit later. But until then, I um, hope you'll enjoy this 
video of Kathy's reading. Okay, so we've got seven cards here. Um, now, what I do is when I'm shuffling, I'm asking your questions. I'm trying to connect with like your guides and my guides so that I can figure out what's going on and ask the question. And then I also get a feeling for how many cards to put down and what the spread should look like. And so this is what, so it's what I got for seven, you. Just whatever. Yeah, whatever. And so you've only got seven cards here but three of them are major arcana cards, That's which it big. doesn't, yeah, it's it's kind of cool, but it doesn't surprise me because you're asking kind of big questions. big questions. You know, it's not like, oh, what's gonna happen at work tomorrow? It's like these bigger life questions. Mm -hmm. So right away, um, what I think we have at the top is the two questions that you asked about romance, and then also about what you could or should or will be doing after retirement. And I think that's what you've got here. Now, you said this looks really bleak, but it, it doesn't. Is that the this is part? <laughs> this, yeah, this is the five of cups. Now, five cards are always a little bit like challenging and also transitional. Okay. And so cups have to do with romance. So it makes sense that you would get a cups card and they have to do with motion, all those kinds of things. And you can see in this, the figure in the card is looking at these three cups that are spilled and empty. And that's kind of, this is this is symbolic of you because you have that feeling of um, romance and, and those kinds of things. It's kind of like you feel like that, that's, that day is done. I've had that day. And in the back of your mind, it's like, but maybe, but, but your truer feeling is all that's over and done with, mm. right? And in my life, it's kind of, I've had it, it didn't work out, whatever the situation was. There may literally, yeah, are. I was going to say there may literally have been three major like sort of loves in your life mm -hmm. um, that you can think of. And it can, it could just be symbolic. The point of the card is that standing behind him are two full cups. That doesn't necessarily mean two people. It's just the idea that because you're fixated more on what you've lost rather than the possibility of what's ahead if you'll just turn around and look at it. Um, and that leads you to, you can see in the background, there's like a bridge and a, a home and those kinds of things. So the card, what it's saying to you at this point is it's, it's not only possible for you, I feel like either there are people already or a person already or in your life who, who maybe hasn't become romantic interest yet, or somebody that you're interested in, or um, that you haven't met but is very close by, like a friend of a friend, or somebody from work, or somebody that you've come Thank in you contact with. The guy that opened the door but, for me today. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> but so cute. <laughs> so much of you, so much of this with you and romance is you being willing to turn around and open yourself up to it. And it's there. I mean, that's the promise of the cards is it's absolutely there. If that's what you want, if you decide that that's what you want and you're willing to take the risk of turning around to see what's there available to you, it's very much possible. But it it is, so much of it is your own timing, mm -hmm. you know, because I feel like actually there could have been other romances in the past, let's say, um, six to 10 years and you've sort of just shut yourself off to it or you just you know gave off this vibe of uh, yeah and like don't come too it. close right mm -hmm. so that's what this card is about it's it's just so as far as romance not only is it possible it's sort of waiting for you for for your own timing um i do feel like now at this point there is this element of being so involved in not only work but the sort of the ending of an era that it's almost like you won't be open completely to things until that chapter's closed yeah. although the person that you meet may like be involved in that or somehow be let's see let me think about this guy um 
What does he look like? Ten, tangentially <laughs> associated yeah. with it, so uh-huh. that it may be, you know, that that sort of has brought him into your life. Um, but I feel like, I also feel like there could be more than one person. Like you may, you know, you may date and that kind of stuff. And then it's it's very up to you because you're very um, independent and it feels like you feel like to to enter fully into like a romance or a romantic relationship would cause you to give up something. Which isn't mm-hmm. true, mm-hmm. but but it so is I a feeling, feel. and and it's yes. also yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's also kind of a vibe, you know that. But there there may be that person when you incrementally have steps where you say, "Oh wait, this this is why people do this. It can work, you know." So, but it it's there, and it's it's sort of waiting for you and your timing. Mm-hmm. And also, this in one particular guy that I'm thinking of is um, he is so. Um, He's so, he's kind and funny, but the thing about him is that he's sort of waiting for you. Like that's part of the reason he's, that he's here dog. is for you guys mm-hmm. to have this, to sort of hook up and have this um, relationship that that's a, like a long time through lifetimes kind of relationship. So okay. so know that it's it's waiting for you. But you also asked about your job and this this will combine stuff down here. But you also asked about not your job, but after retirement. So the Ace of Wands, um, Wands are about new beginnings, creative energy. Um, Often they're about entrepreneurial things. They're about people, uh, you know, artistic endeavors, all these different creative things. And the thing about the Ace is why it's so great when you're asking about this is they always, all the different Ace cards and the different suits come as a hand in a cloud and that's because they're gift cards so this this time that's coming up to you in retirement is very much a gift to you it's especially a gift because you're even though sometimes you may not feel it you're young and you're healthy and you're very um, vibrant and you have all this stuff that that even though like you've had this long chapter of work that's coming to a close this is like opening so many doors. It's like, you know, if if this would have happened 20 years ago, you would have had like the same energy level because you get enthusiastic about things. You know, you're you're just kind of a, um, um, what's, I can't think of the word I'm thinking of, but, you know, like a joyful and, ex- and enthusiastic person. And so what this is talking about is some kind of <clears throat> creative endeavor that you have put on a back burner. Um, It could be something, I mean, particularly artistic, um, but it also could just be some sort of business thing or could be a combination of the two. I don't know if you're um, crafty or you paint or you write or you something like that, but it's some kind of thing where it combines these sort of entrepreneurial businessy talents and these other kinds of very creative talents. It could be, it could be teaching something or working with um, children or other, you know, people where you're sort of passing on knowledge. Um, but it's very, it, it becomes a very passion project, and you do not, absolutely do not have to worry about like being bored or what am I going to do, because <laughs> this has been something, and and there's there's even like more than one thing. This is a time that really is a gift to you for you to be able to do these things that are less, um, I have to get up and go to work today and more, I get to do what I want today. So it's a very good, a very good time for you. And like I said, it's, it's almost as if, um, as if with your retirement, you almost like step back 20 years. You have that same um, interest and vitality and all those kinds of things yeah, that it just like, awesome. you know, it just sort of opens you up. So let's talk about these cards down here. So those are the two like big questions that okay. you asked. But these cards down here, we'll talk a little bit more about it. First of all, you get the Nine of Pentacles. This is talking specifically about you because this figure is um, secure financially and emotionally 
She is very much a nurturer, giving, very in control, very like, I've got things planned, you know, I, I've got my finances in order, I've got my home in order, I've got, you know, everything like that. That's symbolized by this hooded falcon because it's that idea of releasing things but keeping them in control. And that's very much you, you know, you, you <coughs> it's like you've, you've done a lot and now is the time when you sort of get to rest on your laurels. And in, in that, you, there's so many things you don't have to worry about as far as like retirement and things like that, but because you've got your house in order. And not only are things in order, you have this, um, a, you have this nurturing part of yourself that is, um, even though sometimes you, you don't completely recognize how kind of what a, a fully formed person you are, you, you do have that and you are that way. You know, you have all these different sides of you that have, that are very like mature and and um, they've sort of come to fruition through many years. So you do have that, and not only do you have it, but you have the ability to share that with other people. And so, and and even people just looking at you, like oh, she's put, she's together, you know, she's together in this way and that way and this way. And that's how the nine of pentacles is, and that's symbolic of that. So. I think part of the reason that you get this card is so that you don't worry like you because even though you know all this and you know this about yourself and you have it in in order you worry about things so don't create things don't create problems that aren't there just um just you know sort of relax into it this also has to do with um sort of the physical world and the spiritual world and there's a part of you that is, I want to, well, the word that I heard here is um, starving. There's part of you that's almost starving for spiritual things, for delving into that more. And this is a time also to be able to do that because you're very spiritual. Um, you know, people say, oh, you're an old soul. It's, it's, it's not so much that because it's not like, you know, there's souls that are much older and stuff like that what it's more with you the reason it comes across to me as feeling an old soul is because you're a very mature soul you've had a lot of <laughs> lifetimes where you have learned a lot of things a lot of people have lifetimes you know now and they come in and they're like oh, you know and i haven't learned a thing and so for you it's <clears throat> it's kind of the opposite you've you've gone through so many things and you've taken these it your personality, your soul personality is very much like your regular personality. You you very much like to have um, things in order, do things sequentially, you know, so they make sense. And like, I've learned this and now I put it away. Now I know this and I, and, you know, and now I learned this and I put it away and now I know it. And that's how you've gone through life and that's how you've gone through lifetimes. So this is about sort of getting in touch with that because you've been so, um, busy much of your life you you've sort of neglected that a little bit but it will come back to you very easily because you're very connected to it and so that's about that kind of balance too and this is especially true again as you have more time as you're not so consumed by work and the demands that people put on you at work you're one of those people that that are like you know they say if you want something done give it to somebody who's busy you're that busy person <laughs> that people will do that. So is she? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so um so anyway, that that's kind of a little um an aside to, you know, the overall idea of retirement. Because then you get this card. <laughs> and this looks bad, but again, <laughs> it's a you'll see it's another five card. Remember I said another mm -hmm. kind of challenging? Mm -hmm. Well again, wands are about creative energy. And um this five of wands, although it looks like it's a big fight, this is more about like little battles, little things that this, you have this at work all the time where you're constantly <laughs> trying to <laughs> diffuse situations oh, and stuff ways. like that. So that's happening now, but this, this turns around as you retire because what it's about is internal where you're kind of like, going through these things in your head like you feel you're you're used to working and you have a lot of energy and so what's going to happen as you start to retire it's already happening 
as you're thinking, what should I be doing? I should have a plan. What should, maybe I should do this and maybe I should focus on this. And it's this <coughs> internal battle of, um, especially like at night, you know, and you're thinking of stuff and it's like this and this and this. And you, you really, um, you have to step into this empress person that's the center because that's truly who you are that's why it's important to get more in touch with your spiritual self because you you don't your time isn't as limited as you think on earth you have a lot of time and you have time to do all the things that you want to do you don't have to feel like i have these all these things that are <laughs> that i want to accomplish and do you can do them Whatever you want to do, you have the time and ability to do. Don't feel like you have to do everything at once or that there's one right thing. Like I, I need to find that one right thing that I'm going to concentrate on. There isn't one right thing. There's whatever you want to do. It's your life to do with what you please. And the point is not to find that one right thing. That is the thing that I should be doing. The point is to... Be the empress and just enjoy it. The empress is in total control of herself. Of She accepts her world. You can see that like the crown of stars. She is in touch with her spiritual self. She, she accepts um, that there, there's much in the world. Um, you can see the nature. You can see the feminine symbol. You can see the, the rich robes. It's okay to... It's okay for her to indulge herself, to indulge her ideas, to help other people, again, with limits, um, and to seek that yellow background, that happy horizon. It's, it's here, too. It's, it's that happy horizon <laughs> of, and this is very unusual for you, it's that happy horizon of, I get to please myself. And this is the time in your life when you get to please yourself. Mm -hmm. So don't feel compelled to do things. Let them come to you in the in the form of, I'd like to do that, and now I'm going to do it. You know, it, it doesn't have to be, I'm going to do this. This is the thing I'm going to do. <laughs> it's, I get to do what I want to do and enjoy several things. So step into that role in a way that is that is peaceful and makes you happy. Well, there you have it. Kathy's tarot reading, her first tarot reading. I hope you found it interesting. I hope there was some um, things that you can take away from it that may be helpful to you. If you like the channel, I also hope that you'll subscribe, ring the bell if you want notification, tell your friends and family, all those kinds of things. I'll be having some more of these kinds of videos, um, a few coming up just in the next little while. And we'll also have the tutorials. We'll get back to the tutorials with the cups cards and then we'll be finished with those and we'll start some sort of more advanced things. And there may be um, classes coming up that I offer as well. So I hope you will kind of stay tuned for that. And um, I hope you're enjoying the channel. Thank you so much for watching. It's just so fun to read the comments. If you have questions and comments, please feel free to leave them. And until next time, I'm Chris and I'm your Cardvoyant. Bye. Thank you.